massive updates for Jonathan Majors. Not only do we get an outcome of the trial in New York, but Marvel has made a decision, and let's just say it's been a really bad day for the actor. Let's break down all the news and what it means for not only Jonathan Majors, but the Marvel Universe. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, we've got two huge updates as it pertains to Jonathan Majors. One on the legal front and one from Marvel Studios. So let's start with all the legal news. Now, as many of you know, his domestic assault trial up in New York has been going on for several weeks, and earlier today, we got a verdict from the Manhattan jury. Now, the jury actually convicted him of two misdemeanor counts of harassment and assault, but they did acquit him of two other charges that, quite honestly, were much more serious. He was found not guilty on one count of intentional assault in the third degree and aggravated harassment in the second degree. Now, this conviction could result in up to one year in jail, but honestly, Majors has no criminal record, so more than likely this is going to be met with some community service, fines, and likely some sort of restitution for the victim. He could possibly get probation, but that's still unclear now, and we'll find out in February what ultimately will happen with the actor legally. But, as it pertains to his part as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU, well, decisions came down shortly after the conviction. Now, multiple trades are confirming that Marvel Studios and Disney have indeed fired Majors and he will no longer play the Marvel Cinematic Universe Kang the Conqueror. Now, as of the time of this report, we actually don't have a statement from Marvel or Disney, but I expect we should see that really soon. But the news came pretty fast after he was found guilty, and it appears to me whatever plans Marvel has moving behind the scenes, well, some of them are being put in motion now, and we're likely to start getting some updates pretty soon. Now, Marvel basically has two options moving forward. They could choose to recast the role or move on from Kang altogether. Quite honestly, they could probably pull both of them off. Marvel has swapped out major characters in the past, including Mark Ruffalo replacing Ed Norton or Don Cheadle taking over for Terrence Howard. They could also potentially bring in another villain. Doctor Doom is still a fan favorite, but I actually think the multiverse nature of Kang and being able to have variants really does allow Marvel the maximum amount of flexibility with the character, and I'm sure they're going to land on their feet when it comes to the story. All in all, it's a pretty sad ending to the whole thing. He has now been convicted, and that's definitely going to stick with him for a really long time. I'm not sure his path back into Hollywood, or even if he deserves it, his star was really on the rise before all this happened, even earning Oscar buzz for his role in Magazine Dreams. But at this point, I think his career is going to be on hold for quite a while. He probably does have a path to redemption and to return, but once convicted of a crime, that stain is really hard to shake. 